The May Day March on May 1st showed that the Occupy movement in the Bay Area and around the country still has traction and the ability to bring people together in common discontent. Take him down! Take him down! It marked a local resurgence for a movement that, after almost eight months, sometimes struggles with maintaining momentum and exposure. With Occupy SF, disagreement around tactics like nonviolence threatens the unity of the group. But to many organizers and protesters, the movement remains as important as ever. I have committed myself for the rest of my life to make this movement work. Um, it doesn't matter how long it takes, it has to change, it has to. There is no future for this planet or our children without this working. Many involved want to see a fundamental shift in the entire structure of culture and society. But not everyone supports Occupy's messages and methods. It's people who don't know how the economy works, how the world works. There's always going to be rich people, and there's always going to be people who aren't so rich. That's the way it is. I don't think it's changed anything. And I don't think it will. I think the longer it goes on, the less attention people are going to pay to it, and uh, it's just going to wither away. As a banner for a large number of issues, Occupy struggles with focus. But when it is achieved, so are results. Occupy Bernal, for example, a branch in Bernal Heights, has found success fighting foreclosures and evictions. Yeah, I've been active since I was 13, and this is the first uh, movement that addresses the issue of money. Who has it? The issue of class, you know, why are there so many poor people and just a tiny percentage of are very wealthy? Occupy has brought out strong feelings from all areas of the political spectrum since it began in September 2011, and its continued relevance rests on the backs of people like Deborah and Tita who care enough to make themselves heard, whether by handing out flyers in front of their local bank or camping in front of the Federal Reserve. If the movement does flounder or fail, it won't be the police or any opposition that stops it. It'll be apathy.